The question is when, you know, should we, you know, because of someone is rich, he can give a lot of donation, therefore we let them have position of ministry in the church. I want to say that, you know, sometimes I've seen actions of some ministers, they are afraid of people or afraid of shortage of money. Yeah. And there can be different kinds of actions because of this fear. First is to let these people who are who have problematic to have position of ministry in church. Now, even though from the outside it seems like now he had he get more money. But there are two big results. One God doesn't like that. When God doesn't like that, uh -huh. He won't bless them. And then also this this pastor could be breaking down his own ministry. Now one day, one day when we stand in front of God, there could be pastors of big churches who allows corruption in the church. Mm. His minute, you know what, uh, at the time of judgment, he's, you know, maybe even everything he has done is all in vain. Or just a little bit of what he has done is remembered by God. And the second result is, it's like he's putting worms in his rice, you know. <laughs> you, put, you put bugs in your work, uh, to your rice, it will rot, rotten everything. It will destroy the spiritual life of other people. And you know, the result will never be good. And I want to say something similar to that. I have seen and I've heard evangelists when they pray for people, they do this. One choir member, you know, from our church, you know, participated in a choir of a famous evangelist. I'm not going to name that evangelist because you, you will all know him. <laughs> He's very famous. He said at the time when he prayed for the choir members, he pushed with very strong power. Now this evangelist does have a lot, very strong anointing. But there are things that he does is because he has been in this high level, he wants to keep that high image. So when we don't consider how God will look at it, also a lot of what he does will be in vain in the sight of God. So for us all to serve God, I hope we have this view. I want to please God. Let me tell you one time, uh, a long time ago, when I had a church. That's not, that's not in Hong Kong. And, I, and one church member, one time when she was in a church, was talking to someone and she was talking on the phone and said, you don't need to come to pick me up. And I 
and she kept saying, "You don't have to come to pick me up." After she finished the phone call, I asked her, "Who is trying to pick you up?" You know, we take take her home with the car. She told me there was another pastor who is doing that. And then she told me this pastor come to her home every day to teach her English. I talked with the pastor. I said, why are you doing this? He said, I'm loving people. I'm blessing them. But I said, why don't you go out to the non-Christians to do it? Why do, you, why do you go to a church member of another church? He said, I just want to bless people. I won't take people away from the church. I told him and I told the girl, this is not good attitude. And what he does is not right. But eventually this girl left the church. Now before she left the church, she told me this. Because one time I asked her. She said because the, dry, uh, the pastor always liked to take her in the car. I asked her, did he do anything to you in the car? She said after, every time after she took me to the home, he would hug me. And, and, and she said, he's like a father to me. And I told her, that doesn't sound like a father. That sounds like a lover. And he has a wife. But then this girl still finally left the church. And then on the Facebook, some people told me after she left the church, she had heavy makeup. When she was in the church, she doesn't have any makeup. I can see what she's following. The problem is not only with the pastor, it's also with her. Now, but when I think about this pastor, what is he trying to build up? Did, that he just want to get more people in the church, whatever method he can use? Or does he want to please God? If we're not doing God's way, it's in vain. Actually, Jesus said in Matthew 7:21 to 23. Some people say I preach the gospel. And I have, you know, cast out demons and perform miracles. And Jesus said, I don't know you. There are some people like that. Now, for me, I don't have hatred because hatred will destroy me. I would just say, God, please bring him to repentance so that one day he won't face the heavy judgment of God. And I want to say to all pastors, whatever we do, we examine ourselves. If what we do is shown to the whole world, if it's shown to the to Jesus, actually, every, everything we do is visible to God. No one can run away. But many people think we can run away from God. So we want to examine our whole life and ministry. Are we building up or tearing down? Now some people not only are they not building up, they're tearing down so low, it's worse than people who don't serve God. So, when I do anything, 
When I think about anything, I think of there's no ceiling anymore. One day we'll be in front of God. This scene will appear. And then the whole world will be there. And God there watching us. And all the angels. Seeing our heart now. Seeing all our action. I always have this mind. Anything I do. It will show up in, a, in front of God one day. Now for instance when I report tax, pay tax. There is money that the government will, won't know I have. What was sent the government is data money and I if I don't report it, they won't find it. But I will say if I don't report it, one day God will point it out to me. So I would rather put it, you know, write more than less. Now one in Hong Kong, you know, when we drive, there are places we go to, and then we can get free parking if we spend so much money. Hong Kong, parking is For instance, they say you spend two hundred dollars and then you can have free parking. But sometimes, when we spend less, some restaurant in order to please the customers. They will give you a bigger receipt so that you can get a discount on the parking. But I will refuse to take it. I'm not going to lose the, the pleasing of God because of this money. Okay, so I hope you you know, see how important it is for us to please God in everything we do.